All right, fans, here we go with a non-title light heavyweight special attraction scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Raised in the discipline of judo, his hard-hitting record stands at seven wins, four losses, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the explosive and dynamic knockout artist known as the African assassin, Sokaju. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter known for his boxing and kickboxing domination. His record stands at 26 wins, two losses, and one draw. Here he is, one of MMA's exciting young stars, the Strike Force Light Heavyweight World Champion, Gehard oh, Musasi. And a third man of the cage now to give instructions, David Smith. Fighter, center of the ring. Fighter, center of the ring. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. Any questions from you, Geggert? Any questions from you, Terry? All right, I want a good, clean, fair fight. Listen to my commands at all time. Protect yourselves at all time. Touch them up, step back, let's do this. Up and down career for Sokaju, his most notable win against Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. He went to the UFC, didn't fare so well. No, in fact, he actually put himself on the map in 2007 with back-to-back -back KOs of Antonio Rogerio Noguera and Ricardo Arona. Fell short in the UFC, but is now trying to upset this man who has been on a roll. The Musasi Express has claimed 13 victims in a row. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Here we go. I must say, gentlemen, I'm not a fan of non-title affairs, but any chance you get to showcase one of the hottest fighters on the planet in the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion, Gayard Musasi on Primetime Network Television, you have to do it, and this is it. He's a four-to-one favorite in this fight. Very good boxer, Musasi. Sokuji said something interesting to me. He wanted to stay in front of him and stick and move. Sasi using his height, taking his time, always calm, trains with Fedor Emelianenko. The prototypical poker face. And speaking of Fedor Emelianenko, an interesting note, Sokoju's brother James once sparred in amateur boxing with Fedor years ago in Russia. Sokoju with a nice left hook to the body there. Set up with a jab. Now Sokoju stepping off. Sasi, no fear, just walking right through him, getting closer and closer. And Musashi's done something interesting with his body. He squared it up a little bit, so each hand has equal power. You know, Sokut, there's that high head kick. Sokut is only three and three in his last six fights, but I think part of the reason is that he's overtrained in the past. He's left it all in the gym. He says that won't be the case here tonight. Sokut, you uh, jujitsu, make that a judo black belt. Looks uncomfortable with his stand-up right now. That kick by Musasi. Course of with no idea how to close the distance. He's tried some fake shots. He took a shot to the groin there, but he tried some fake shots. He tried some feints. He's not confident shooting inside. You can tell he's not confident ducking in and getting into the hips of Musasi. It's 5 of 14 and strikes so far in the opening round is Sokaju. Musasi is 4 of 7. And there is another one to the cup. Or so, Sokaju says. Musasi. Very extensive amateur boxing background in the Netherlands, born and raised in Iran before moving to Holland. He's only 24, and it's unbelievable the composure that this youngster has inside the cage. Oi. <laughs> he said, see, it doesn't bother me. Why does it bother you? Now a takedown attempt by Sokaju. Very explosive move, and I think if Sokaju would have kept on that, he'd have got him down. Sokaju showing a lot of respect for Masasi. There's that jab, inside kick, and reposition from Masasi. Well, 
What's interesting about Musashi to me is he'll switch stance right in the middle of a punch just so he can strike with the other side. 15 of Musashi's 26 career wins have been via form of knockout. But so far, tit for tat here, so could you be getting to, to, to land? But you like the patience of Musashi. Mm -hmm. He's setting him up, he's getting closer. Short punches, now he jumps on him. Sokoju tries to take him down and there's, there's a nice judo there go. The judo background. Now watch Musashi, folks. He is wonderful, and I mean wonderful, on his back. He won the dream middleweight Grand Prix, and he submitted a number of his opponents from his back, from his guard. Well, in 2008, he had one of the best years any mixed martial artist could possibly have had, going 6-0, winning that yeah, middleweight the title. So Juko had a very strong top position, but he exposed himself when he went for that guillotine. Musashi felt it. He rolled him right over. Musashi with punches. Side control laying heavy on Sokoju now. Here comes an arm lock attempt. Sokoju exploding out. Come right back with a judo trip. That's what he tore my knee out with. So far, you got to be pretty impressed that Sokoju's uh, Resilience here and uh, now in control of Musashi along the fence. Yeah, drive him into the fence, that's right. He's working on a guillotine here, and he's tight. He's awful tight. Musashi breaks out of it. Pulling down on that choke arm. Now they're up against the fence. You know what? Six seconds to go, Musashi. Beautiful violence there and hip control by so could you Wow. So could you. Very strong. Upper torso. And he's really stuck to his game plan. Hasn't been too aggressive. Has improved his footwork. Oh, fantastic. Great trick. That's got to make you proud, Gus. That's Jiu Jitsu 101. Sure is. Nice game on the Sassi. And so could you. Very entertaining first round. This, this guillotine attempt set up by Sojuku exposed him. His arm was gone. It exposed him to the reversal. Put him in a bad position. He's not that good from his back. Musashi, on the other hand, is fantastic when he's in the top. He's been able to control and strike and finish most everybody. The escape was set up by Musashi attempting a submission hold. He had to use two arms to attack the one arm. It gave room for Sojoku to pop his hip. You see him explode out and turn the corner. And when they came up, they came up swinging and tripping. Sojoku with a nice hip toss leg trip. They put him in a dominant position and smashed Musashi. Here's our final takedown. Musashi was in. He threw the hip, but midway, you can see Sojoku throw him back, squared him up, landed right on top. You ready? You ready? Let's go! Round three. Make it round two. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Gayhard Musasi in black, Sokaju in red. And for the first time in a long time, Sokaju able to showcase that black belt in judo skills in the opening round. But he has fantastic hip speed. You saw him dig in one side and switch his hip all the way to the other. And he's definitely faring much better than Musashi's last four victims, who none of which made it past the three-minute mark of the opening round. Musashi TKO'd. Renato Sobral, Babalu in August on the Strike Force Corano Cyborg card. A fight you referred to did not take very long for Usasi to get Babalu to uh, go home early. Yeah, no doubt, 60 seconds. And uh, interestingly enough, the same Babalu Sobral who uh, submitted Sokuju. So every fight is different, however, and Sokuju really looking much better in this fight than I've seen him look in a while, although now. Musashi beginning a pepper with the knees. Musashi is destroying the legs of Sokuju right now. He's destroying them. Don't hold the fence. Sokuju has fought some fence. tough customers. He fought Subral, Lewis Kane, Leota Machida, losing to the UFC. Rising star by virtue of an arm triangle choke. And now 
Gayhard Musasi trying to put his get punches together in bunches. Of course, Sokuju has former Pride and UFC star Dan Henderson. I say former, he's one of the most coveted free agents right now in the sport, and not that my opinion counts for much, but I wouldn't mind seeing him in a strike force cage. Three minutes to go in the second round, scheduled for three. And look how effective Musasi's been in the striking department, 23 of 32 in this round. Although, man, so could you really impress me He's with this balance. Strong. So could you so strong, but does he know what to do in this position? Musasi. Come on, guys, let's work. Let's work. With so could you in half guard. So could you not going for anything. They be leery of the dangerous. Musasi on his back. There's the hip escape. Musasi. It's an armbar attempt, shoulder lock. Looking for a Kamor possibly. Yep. Trying to pop it up. There. And he turns. Going to take off with it. So could you rolls out of it. And those leg trips and those hip tosses are really making the difference in this fight for So could you. It's allowing him to control the positioning in the cage and on the ground. Now Musasi. Trying to ground and pound. So could you covering up. This is a spot where we've seen him in the past kind of will not move around much, take tremendous damage. And he's taking a lot. So could you not moving his hips, not even trying. You can hear the effect of those body shots. Those are massive punches. Come on, Terry. Musasi, combination punching now. From the top, Sokaju looks like a fish out of water. Look at that cross face across the throat. That's got to be uncomfortable. Sokaju's back to the show, Terry. Sokaju, this may be coming to an end. Terry, hammer fist, and it's over. Make it 14 in a row and counting for the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion. Sassy bandwagon is almost at full capacity. What do you think? Uh, big reaction from the crowd and uh, the kids for real. Let's face it. He certainly is. Gayhard Musasi took the fight, Frank, to the ground, and all of a sudden things changed. Things changed dramatically, and I, I know he's really good from the top position. We saw him in every position today: top, bottom, side, strike, everything. Really, a nice display of mixed martial arts from Musasi. <laughs> what can I do about it? What can I do about it? So let's take a look at the end of this one. Musasi in complete control on top. And so could you just not moving, not defending. Really, it looked like all the life had been taken out of him by this point. I don't know if he's fatigued or just mentally beaten, but having Musasi on top of you and pounding away, obviously, he's done here. He's not defending. He's not doing anything. He needs to get those hips back. He needs to do anything to take those shots. And the same thing. Another look here. Look, he's getting hit right on the chin. These are only grazing shots, but he's not defending them. And in the sport of mixed martial arts, you have to defend yourself at all times for the safety of the athlete. Look at the ref. He's on him. It's over. Ahard Musasi always so relaxed in control of his emotions and a winner for the 13th straight time. Let's go inside the cage where our Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 43 seconds in round number two. A referee in charge, David Smith, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Gayhard Musasi.